dangerous mystery. This is uh, one that I have performed on television, on cruise ships, and uh, tonight I'm doing it on crack. So, just kidding, I've never even uh, been on a cruise ship. But, it's a rather serious and dangerous mystery. I will need some assistance. I'll peer around the room, perhaps find someone who is available. And uh, none of you look really that busy, so. Um, who are you, sir, right here on the end of my finger there? Ken. Ken. Well, this must be Barbie. Uh, and uh, Ken, what sort of work do you do? I'm an auctioneer. Perfect, 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 perfect. <laughs> Uh, Ken, just kind of stand up, lean forward, your legs will fall. I'll meet you around up here somewhere. And when he gets about right here, we'll get the big applause for him to get it rolling. And that would be a good time, Ken. He's kind of... Enjoy yourself there. <laughs> this uh, mystery, Ken, uh, has to do with my mouth, throat, and stomach. You'll be the eyes of the audience, a commentator, to let the folks know uh, what's happening. It's a little flashlight right, right here. If you hold this part down, it lights up. If you would use your left hand, I'd do this one. And then uh, hold it about, <laughs> that's like playing with a Gumby. Right there, right there solid. And uh, light her up, Ken, if you would. Point it toward my mouth, take a look inside. <laughs> nothing, nothing. Last night the guy said hemorrhoids. Uh, I'm surprised you could see that far, you know. But, uh, first, I'm going to introduce the package of needles. These are sewing needles. I'm going to hand you a couple of these I'd like you to hold on to. If you would hand me one of the needles, please keep the flashlight pointed toward my mouth. Now, the first needle, uh, hold your hand flat. That'll be easier. It goes on the tongue, right? Yep. All right, hand me another needle. Stanley, a note for the kids, please don't ever swallow needles unless your folks aren't home. Then go for it. That's how I started. The next needle goes on the tongue, right, Ken? There it is. Ken, I'd like you to look in the mouth. Under the tongue, the top gum. Bottom gum, sides of the mouth. Anything at all, Ken? No. All right. I love them when they wear glasses. They're easier to pull. <laughs> you just go. <sighs> <laughs> to uh, make things go quicker, we're going to go for handfuls or bunches of needles. Uh, rough estimate, or you could count them. Uh, how many needles would you say I have it exactly right? No, we don't know how many. Bunch of needles. Don't make me laugh. I'll tack you to the wall. <laughs> Oh, good, you're smiling now. You know, you suppress your laughter, it comes out the other end. And... Bunch of needles. Ken, I'd like you to look in the mouth. Under the tongue, the top gum. Bottom gum, sides of the mouth. Anything at all, Ken? No. All right, good answer. Now, here comes the good part. This is the uh, thread right here. And uh, let me just get the end of it here. The thread, Ken... It's a little bit stuck, but uh, that would be about the right length. Ken, the thread goes on the tongue. Watch close here. Now, that's Italian. It's a little al dente, though. All right. Uh, you know what's coming. Help my pal Ken out. Tell him. Look in the mouth. Say it. Look in the mouth. Come on, louder. Under the tongue. Top gum. Bottom gum. Sides of the mouth. Who said the nose? <laughs> All right, take a look. Yeah, actually, I went in for a nose job. They told me it'd be cheaper to make my face bigger. <laughs> All right, hold it right there, Ken. Do me one last favor, Ken. Put your right hand on your waist like this. I had a last question for you, Ken. Do you know the song, I'm a Little Teapot? You know that one? All right, never mind. Little drum roll on your table. You've been great.